want to turn your CS2 gameplay from this to this? Let me show you how. Hey, it's Pipsqueak back with another video. Now in today's video, I will be showing you how to get a Rainbow HUD in CS2. My CSGO version of this video has over 100,000 views, 2,000 likes, and over 500 comments from players who found it useful. So if you are looking to get a Rainbow HUD, don't worry, you're in the right place. Getting a Rainbow HUD is a little different in CS2 to CSGO, so make sure you watch all the way through to the end of the video so you do not miss anything. Let's get started. So to start off, you need to open up Steam, head over to your library, right here, find CS2, right click it, and hit properties. Next, I want to go into installed files, and then browse. You should see your Windows Explorer pop up and take you to the CSGO download folder. Next, you want to hit game, CSGO, and then CFG, right here. In this folder, you will find a load of CFG files, and what we are going to be doing is adding a new one to this list. But just before I tell you how to do this, you may find it a bit complicated. So what I'll do for you is I'm going to add a link to the top of the description where you can just go and get the file you need pre-made for you, which means all you have to do is download it and drag it into this folder right here, which makes the process so much easier. If you do want to do it yourself though, keep watching and I'll show you right now. So now we are in the CFG folder. I want you to pick any CFG file. So for instance, I'll pick this one. We're going to copy it with Control C and paste it with Control V. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to hit rename. For the sake of the video, I'm going to be calling this Rainbow HUD. You can name it anything you want. So what you do next is find your Rainbow HUD file right here. Oh, and one thing as well is if you already have an auto exec file, you can add this code straight into there. Uh, but just for the sake of simplicity, I will be doing it in a new file for this video. Now, open up this file, like I say, delete out anything you've got, make sure you are opening it up with a text editor, I'm using Notepad. And now what we want to do is we want to paste in our code that we've got right here. Now, your code should look like this, nothing else in it, just start with alias, with the toggle, and end with the bind. Now, just before you save and close the file, I just want to let you know that there is some customizing you can do. First and most importantly, the bind itself. I have it bound to K by default, but if you have something bound to K, make sure you change this to something else. You can change it to whatever you like, just make sure it's not something you've already got bound to. The other thing you can choose is the color the HUD turns when it's off. So at the moment, I have it set to the color 4. You can change it to whatever you want uh, between 1 and 13. Now, all you have to do is save and close the file, like this. Head on back over to Steam. Click General, and we're gonna add something in these launch options right here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna add a plus, exec, and then the name of the file. So Rainbow HUD, just like that. Now, we are clear to launch the game and test this out. Now, once the game is launched up, I recommend you head into a practice server, into deathmatch, whatever map you like, and test it out. So, now you're in the server. Once you're all loaded in, just hit K, and it's color time. Just so you can see it in action, I'm gonna have 30 seconds or so of gameplay on the screen now. I think it looks really great, and I definitely would not go back to a single color HUD. One other thing is, just so you know, at any point, if you decide you're sick of the rainbow is changing every couple of seconds, just hit K and it'll take you back to the default blue HUD color, just like that. Super easy. What do you think about your new HUD? Let me know in the comments down below if this worked for you. And like I say, if you do want to just get the CFG file pre-made, ready-made for you, without having to go through all the steps and do it yourself, just hit the link in the top of the description, sign up to my newsletter to get the CFG file straight to your inbox within a couple of seconds. Believe me, you'll be glad you did.
all you got to do is drag the file from that email straight into the CFG folder I showed you, put it in there and it will work just the same. If you did find this guide useful, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because there will be more videos very, very soon. Don't forget to share it with a friend as well who needs to get better at Counter-Strike. Maybe a rainbow HUD will make all the difference. What guide would you like to see next? I'll see you in the next one. Peace.